Uh, I'm Gabe from Tiny House Listings. I'm the production manager here. This is our 28-foot uh, model Tiny. Um, if you look up front, it's got your standard RV hookups. Uh, I mean, towaways. You got your chains, you got your seven pin, you got your breakaway switch. Um, you can see up front, we got our two uh, scissor jacks for leveling the trailer. Um, and then in the front of this building, this is where our bathroom is located. So you got a big window coming out of your bathroom. And then we come around the back. You can see the sewer outlets right here. Um, this lady actually opted in for an extra kitchen window. So that window is right over her sink. Um, but on our standard packages, you get the one in the back. You get the LP siding which is a, a wood composite, which is a 50 year product and painted correctly. Um, and then back here, you also see that we got our RV and our water hookups. So you have a 50 amp plug right here, which just plugs in and comes out. And then you have your standard water hose inlet adapter. It's just a garden hose, screws right in, gives you fresh water to the building. Now uh, I still got our scissor jacks on the back. And if you come around the back and look here, this is where we mount our uh, AC mini split system. So this is the condenser outdoor unit. So this is what heats and cools the building. Um, you can see we hide actually, we're actually taking a little bit of extra time here. We hide our lines in the wall. So all you see is uh, about a couple of feet coming outside. Uh, we got our disconnect. So if you have anybody to service it, it's there. And then let's walk around to the front. This is our standard package, um, and our, we do a shed set style roof here. It's a little taller. Um, we have the uh, horizontal siding on either side, and then we have the board and batten in the middle between the two windows. Uh, got your outdoor plug, your outdoor water ticket, and um, that's it. All right, I am Stephen here. I'm the owner of Tiny House Listings. Gabe just showed you the outside. Now we're gonna take you inside and uh, let you know what's going on inside. Okay, so now we are on the inside of the 28 foot model Tiny. And uh, this comes in two different sizes, 24 feet and 28. Most people elect for the 28 feet because it's not much more expensive actually to build. Uh, so if you come this way, I'll show you. This person, uh, this customer actually elected for a privacy wall. You don't have to have this, it's an option, but it's just a nice way to separate the living space from the, uh, from the, the bedroom space. So if you come in here, good thing about this is you can easily fit a queen size mattress in here Queen size bed, no problem. And um, if you want, you can even have storage along here, up through here if you want, that's an option. Um, if you look up to the ceiling really quick, you'll notice that this is really beautiful pine shiplap that we put on there. And there's the inside of the mini split. So what happens is, the reason this is just a privacy wall, not a full wall, but the air can actually travel back and forth from the living space to the, the living area, to the bedroom, excuse me. So yeah, if you look over here, you'll see this is where you could easily put full-size couch if you want, side table. And this customer actually elected, opted for an L-shaped kitchen. Um, so that's really nice. Extra storage, extra window here, lots of cabinets. Induction cook pop, induction cook pop, excuse me. LVP flooring that we go with. And this customer actually also wanted a all-in-one washer dryer unit and we put a butcher block above it that way she can kind of take her clothes out fold them do what she needs to do here really nice option lots of storage above if you look above there there's a storage loft you can put all of the stuff up there that you typically don't need to get every single day right so stuff that you need to retrieve from time to time uh, here in the bathroom flush toilet beautiful vanity If you look right here, all of our tiny houses are equipped with a humidistat. What happens with that is the way this works is if the humidity reaches a certain level in the bathroom, the fan in here actually automatically kicks in and that's really nice to prevent any sort of mold buildup over time and just to get rid of any kind of humidity. And here's our stand up shower. So yeah, this is our model tiny 28 footer. The whole idea of this tiny house is to be very open and to be one floor layout. Uh, we read did a lot of research and we found out most people don't want to climb lofts when it goes to bed, when times are going to bed, as far as your bedroom area. So this works out really, really well. This has been very popular. So if you have any questions, uh, you can go to tinyhouselistings.build. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.